Hello friends, welcome to Spicy Cat Colors. You are here with Kathy and I am here to show you my June haul. I'm calling it my June haul. There's stuff, I don't remember how long ago it is. I just, when I have time and I have enough stuff in the box, I will show you what I purchased <laughs> or received. First up, I am going to show you some Wahoo mail, which people are so kind. I'm not going to give extreme details. I just want to show you this cute little, beautiful, it's not little, sorry. There you go. This lovely card from my friend D. Um, I did a super long minivan Monday chat, kind of filling everybody in on what's been going on in my life. And um, some of you <laughs> decided to make my day brighter. But remember, you don't have to send me anything to make my day brighter. You just do make my day brighter. Anyway, okay, so this card, adorable and summery and fun. I love these pineapples. Are they not the cutest? You see those? This is from my friend Michelle. And look at this washi. She said she saw it and thought of me. It's Meow Amour. And I'm not sure if you can see. I've still got the wrapper on, but there. Isn't that adorable? And I think she had told me, now I gotta look, I should have remembered. Um, oh, it is. Okay, so this is the flowers from Alice in Wonderland, but as cats. Isn't that cute? It is. I love it. Thank you, both Dee and Michelle, for just the little cards and the little gift totally excited and again thank you thank you again I said this in my completed pages but to all of those that reached out with a um, message or comment on the video again I know we all go through rough times it's part of life and that's just what it is but I thought since I haven't been able to be as active out on YouTube and the coloring world as I want to and I had in the past this year is I don't know how it's going to turn out we're halfway through and it's been since February but anyway then I'm going to show you the I got two Wahoo gift two Wahoo coloring books so in my haul here so that I'm going to show you the books I had acquired in June and then I'll do the supplies second I'll put a um chapter link in the bottom in case you only care or in the bottom in the description in case you want to just zip to supplies don't care books whatever so look at this fun one my friend Janine sent me this and she's so funny she was like thank you for buddy coloring with me for the first time and I'm like seriously uh I do that all the time with anyone and I'm happy to and I love this book it's like matte cover and shiny cover and I love the color quest series I had not um purchased any of the newer releases and she got me amazing animals and I already showed I did this one in I had to color right away I did this page in the um month of June and I have a page um set aside Janine and I are buddy coloring I'm going to just show you a quick little peek at the answers in case you don't want to see them shut your eyes um but I love the vibrant colors and that's what's kind of cool like you know here's this cute bunny but then look at the colors it's a blue bunny and then the backgrounds gradiated yeah and the fun colored giraffe and oh. anyway there are so many in here you know the bugs not so much and Janine and I were laughing like the snake will be like where's the snake down here at least it's a pretty snake anyway thank you so much for this book Janine I love it, as I already told you, and I'm excited that we're doing a page in there this month. Okay, I'm not at all organized to start piles. And then this just came in the mail, so technically I guess this is a July Wahoo mail, but um, I'm including it now because it arrived today and I'm filming today. So this is Adorable Cuties from Demita Victoria, and this was a gift from my friend Anne. And I'm not doing like full flip throughs, I'm sure there are full flip throughs, but these are adorable. Oh look, I like it because it's not all, it's summer, 
But there's like cute animals. They're kind of chibi-ish girls. And I like it. And it's this light gray scale. So I, it's perfect. I'm going to color in it this month. I just got to find the page. Now the next book, well this was a gift card book that I purchased using gift cards that I had. This is um, Creative Haven City Sites, Color by Number, George Tufexis. Ooh, Amazon did a recent, you know, you buy two, get one. And of they had some George Tufexis, but this was the only one I didn't have that I wanted. And then I don't have the books. I don't know where I put them. But the other two I purchased were sticker by number ones. So um, anyway, yeah, kind of excited. This is one of the earlier George Tufexis. And I've already colored two pages, but you'll see that in my July. Now the next pages are from my Coloring for Coins. My the next pages, the next books are from my Coloring for Coins, which in case this is the first video of mine or you're new to the channel, it is a little thing my husband and I do. I earn a quarter for every page I color in a month and then at the end of the month, I spend those earnings by putting what I want in the shopping cart at Amazon and he checks it out for me. Granted, the money comes from <laughs> shared accounts. I'm more or less buying it myself, but this limits my purchasing and it um, he feels like he's helping and supporting, <laughs> supporting my hobby. Okay, so this is the first Morgan O'Brien. I have very much enjoyed seeing everyone's pages pop up. I am not a, um, although you don't have to be an Animal Crossing or a Grogu Star Wars fan to get either of the other books, but um, I'm not. So I was like, eh, I'll pass on those. But I got the uh, summer coloring book and I will be, I have a buddy color in here for July and I know I will probably end up getting more of the Matchstick Mouse books. And I also really like the, um, doesn't he have the chompy, or chompy fluffy dragons, the dinosaurs, chompy, I forget what it's called. <laughs> anyway, I think there's another part that I'm interested in, but for sure I think I'm going to really enjoy Matchstick Mouse and I will just slowly acquire those as, um, as I earn them. And this, not a surprise, everyone, well, not everyone, but a lot of us have picked it up. I have showed a lot of restraint. Um, Coco Wayo, those of you that are you know, in the coloring world to know they've been kicking out a lot, a lot of books. And this was the only one that I wanted to get right away. Um, some of them I'm like, eh, nope, I don't need it. And this is why we do coloring for coins, because otherwise I'd be just adding them all at every release and having them show up at my door. So I did get Spooky Girl. I have not colored anything yet. Um, I don't know if I'll get into it this month or maybe I will save it a little more towards fall. I don't know yet, but I got Spooky Girl. And then the last one that I had chosen for coloring for coins, um, so I always... I spend every last cent. So I was down to like $3 or something. And so then I'm almost just looking for any kind of coloring book in that price range if I don't have anything on my wish list. So this is Fun and Cute Kawaii Coloring Book. It is by um, Melina Clark. And it has the matte color cover. I'm going to see if there's a... Um, it says 2022. So... Cute Kawaii Coloring Book 1, so I don't know if there's other ones, but it's got 50 pages, and I'm all about the Kawaii stuff. I do like that um, the pages are numbered. They are numbered, though, on both sides, so your images are your right side, which is the odd numbers, and then the back, but I kind of like that because I like to track in my journal, the pages I do, and if I can put a number instead of guessing, that works. Or if you're trying to buddy color, it's easier to say, oh, page 23. So these are all pretty cute. I think this would be a good large print. Oh, that one's cute. Pineapple. Plain something. Um, yeah, I thought these were very adorable. Should color up 
quickly and I had not seen this um, artist before. So those are the ones I picked and I had several things put in my saver later. I hadn't moved them to the wish, wish list yet. So my husband, when he was checking it out, again, if you watched my mini chat, my, minivan Monday, you know what we've been going through. He felt I deserved a little extra something. So he just randomly picked this from the Save for Later Dragons with Pets, which makes me so excited because, again, I've seen this around um, Becca Gollins, and they are so stinking adorable. Again, a pretty um, simple, but they do still have detail, so I'm not sure. You know, I think it's it still work for large print. Some areas may be a little trickier, but... I just think they're so flippin' adorable. Oh, eating cookies. <laughs> I love it. I love it. So, again, I want to get in there this month, but my, um, if you watch my goals video, my prompt, well, I do have summer, but then I'm also trying to color in, like, all of my color by numbers because that was what the spinner wheel came up with. <gasps> so, we shall see what I end up doing. Okay, next up are... Uh, I did when this was splurge stuff, so those were all gifts, or I used gift cards I'd earned, or the ones I'd earned for my husband. So I'm still really doing quite well on my no spend year, or no buy, which isn't a no, but it's a some buy <laughs> here. So, but then sometimes I just need something. So while we were in, out of town, hospital medical stuff. There was a Barnes and Noble very near our hotel and I have not gone into a Barnes and Noble forever but I have seen a few recent hauls where people found some fun books there on the um, sale area. So I went in and I found two things. I didn't find the ones everybody else would be finding but I found two. So I picked up this one. They had several in this series and um, the book annex is what they call their like discount area and it is calm color by number david wood woodroff woodroff says it's a large print um i don't think that's large print i think this is still you know some have a little bit more larger print but really i think there's some pretty small areas i don't know that i would consider this large print, meaning I don't consider it large print, but uh, the paper seems kind of like Creative Haven paper, and they do give you the answers. I'm going to show you those. So here's, I'm not doing like a huge, but it's, I liked it. It was a nice um, mix, mix of different, some, you know, classic art, just some zen stuff, some animals. I like it. What I really like, and I wish Creative Haven would do this, is how it has this flap so I can have it open and see my colors while I'm working on the page. I really wish just about any color by number would do this. I'm sure it would add to the cost, but it would make life so much easier, especially when you have a kind of large palette. So I picked this up, and then... oh, Okay, hold on. I gotta grab it. Okay, so they had this, and I am so disappointed. <laughs> Let me tell you why. Okay, first of all, it's $15. Now I could have bought a pretty nice coloring book for $15. So I came in here, cute kawaii coloring, and I have, I'm going to show you, this book, the cute kawaii coloring, that was gifted to me, and I love it. And I knew there was like a cat's one, this one right here. And I saw this, and I'm like, oh, well, for $15, I will get it so I can have this book, and this will be an extra, but I will use it for a swap or a gift, and I was okay with that. It also came with 10 markers. Well, what annoyed me, and it doesn't say anything that I can see out here, but, so I thought I was going to get another one of these this book right here which has see how thick it is it has a lot of pages i have colored in it i enjoy it well let me show you what i got there were two books in here so the, let's see can you see 
the difference in the number of pages. I, I'm like, seriously? <laughs> I guess this is just a sampler. And I did go through and all of the pages that are in here are in here. But there's like three times more pages in the actual book. So I was disappointed by that. And I mean, on here it says not for individual sale. Once you're in the book, it says um, contains content previously published in an expanded edition. But it doesn't tell you that on the outside. And I'm not one of those persons. I guess maybe I should be one of those people that would open it up and look at it inside. But I just made the assumption I was getting two full-size books. So then my also dismay... Not really. I'm like, seriously, there's so many worse things in this world. So I did get the Kawaii Kitties coloring book, but it is the, like, sampler version. So I did compare, though, because I thought, oh, are all of these in my cute Kawaii? And there is only one page I found, this one, that is in the big cute Kawaii. This is also, though, in the small one, so if you're going to, like, do a synopsis, let's just do it a little bit better. <laughs> just saying that to any publisher that's out there as if any of them would watch me but I am very excited to have this but for $15 basically is this is all I wanted which is like I don't know I maybe would have paid five maybe but probably not even and then these are the markers that it came with I took them out and they're just a water-based marker they're kind of an interesting because it's not like a full color set it doesn't have like a black or a brown and it's got, you know, not kind of different blues. And anyway, they work fine. I was using them just for some water base. I don't know that I'll use them in here because they're kind of a fine tip. But they're just, again, a basic water based marker. Not that exciting. So that was my Barnes and Noble not so exciting purchase. But nonetheless, it is something. Again, I've been wanting this Kawaii Kitties. I'm just going to have to look for it and buy the. Um, the full version. So I'm going to pause you and get my supplies set up. Okay, so the supplies, I will try and let you know where I got them if I can remember. So I got these a while ago. Now again, seasoned friends, you know I enjoy using nail polish, um, especially glitter. I find it super easy, um, easier than stickles because it has a brush built in so I stocked up at the Dollar Tree so I got these I'm gonna stick in <laughs> these other ones that are sitting here and then I also got these <laughs> cases there which are perfect I mean they're supposed to go this way you can see the unicorn face but um, they're perfect to hold. It's just called an accessory box. And then I got this one. So this is a duplicate. And the rest are all just glitter nail polishes, which again, I love to use. They're so easy to add some sparkle to a coloring page. And like I said, the brush is built in. Then these are kind of some random, random. I think I showed these when I was on my crafty retreat in May. They're just little sparkly doodads that I can add with um, either glue or a glue dot to a page. I thought they'd be a fun embellishment. I'll use them in card making as well, but plan to use them on my coloring. Picked up a three pack. I think I just got this at Walmart. Every now and then they'll have Jelly Roll um, or Tombos, and I usually just pick it up when I see something there because price is okay. And I, I've gone back and forth. So I have like the big pack of the Arteza white gel pens. And does anybody else have this problem? So with the Artezas, when I first use it, it is amazing, but you don't use up the whole pen and now every time I go back even when I clean off the tip and like do everything I can, I can it just it does it's scratchy um, and all three sizes 
Is it me? Does anybody else have that problem? Whereas with the Jelly Roll white, I've never had that problem. It's always smooth. Sometimes you need to like get a little bit of dried ink off, but then it's smooth. With the Artezas, no. Like I said, I was in love at first, and now I'm not. And I have a whole bunch of them. Of course I'll use them, because I always use everything. Uh, I try to. This was a random... Um, also, I got picked this up at Barnes & Noble. I have no idea what the Studio Series is, if that's, like, their thing. It um, is missing a marker. But it's browns, skin tones, so I didn't care. It, normally, full price was $13. They had it marked down to 8 for missing this one. I haven't tested them yet to see if they're um, dried out or anything. Yeah, I'm already not impressed. You can already see this um, brush is frayed. Bullet tip should be good. wonder if they're all frayed or just if that was like someone... No, they're not a high quality, but it's okay. I don't mind. Um, like I said, I'll use them. If I ever, I've bought other like sets like this um, when I just find the set, and I'm okay. I'm okay with it. We, we'll give them a try. For eight bucks, I got five alcohol markers. I'm happy with that. Uh, these are some other randoms. I think I got these at Walgreens. They are out now in the back to school. I have, I recommend these so much. I use them all the time. I have a set over here that is almost empty. I'll show you the difference. Um, they pop up in my empties videos, but it's kind of a paint marker glitter. So here you can see where, can you see this one's full and this one's almost empty? See, <laughs> so the paint is up here and you shake it and a nice bullet, but I have been using these, so I got myself a new set because some of my colors I'm actually out of, but I will set this aside for now. And then the same with, they have this metallic set, which I also, sorry, I know I just bumped you, have used. That's these, and they are a metallic marker. So they were on sale, I mean, I don't, unless it's clearance, I don't get really good stuff at Walgreens, but it was like you bought one and you got one half off. So I picked, I almost picked up two of these instead, but it's, I'll use them. I was missing some of the metallic ones as well. Uh, another random, pretty sure I got this at the dollar store, dollar store or Walmart. It was cheap. I'm, I know it was the dollar store. So it is just a pack of stickers of they're repeats, but there's some alphabets, some fun summer ones. I need to remember to like put these on some of my summer pages. Picked that up. Uh, another just generic alcohol blending solution. I do have like the um, the Copic blending solution to refill, but I wanted this just to do, have something not as expensive <laughs> and to use. This is Tim Holtz um, from Ranger for some techniques. So I picked that up. Then I got the Nouveau Glitter Drops. I wanted to just compare these to stickles. I know I see people use them on their pages. I got the White Blizzard. So I got both of those. Now where should I go to? <laughs> Let's do the Amazon things. Maybe I can set this aside a little bit first. So Amazon, I've been picking things up slowly. I have both of these are um, magnet page markers. And I have seen other people use them and I have ordered them and I haven't used them because I wanted to haul them first. So of course I got the cat, cat sets which are adorable. So now I'm so excited I get to use these. Um, if you didn't know how these work, I thought I already opened it because I put in my two sets. Um, let's pull one out here. It is, I mean, not like a super high strength magnet, but this was actually cats and dogs. So there's dogs on one side <laughs> and cats on the other. 
and it just opens up and you can mark your page. Use for a bookmark. I plan to use them for my completed pages to show. We're doing that's my goal for those. I ordered this pack of 16 souffle pens. It was discounted because it was a return, I think. But I do enjoy using the um, Sakura and Jelly Roll marker or er, pens. And then I ordered this set as well. This is the Moonlight set. So I'm pretty sure it's the Jelly Roll. It's just that it's in different packaging. Yeah, this is Jelly Roll. And I really like the 1.0 tip. And that's, I wanted the full set of those because I only had a smaller set currently. So I ordered some of those. So I'd be set. I got a couple different washi tapes. And I have not used them yet because I was waiting. So, oh gosh, how am I going to do this? They're all going to, okay, I'm not going to take, I'll take one out. So you can kind of see how much is on it. Super cute. I think this was like a kawaii theme. And I mean, I could take all of them out, but we will be here forever. And we don't need to do that. Can you see all the cute little? So each one of those is a roll. So I will get them out. Oh, wait, what else is in here? There's a bonus. Oh, look at that. It's like a little measurable um i'm not quite sure what i'm supposed to use this with but that's interesting yeah it's called cute animals washi tape so there get an extra one but yeah i'm so excited to use these and then this one is just um decorative it is two it's skinny skinny washi tape you see and I apologize for not being like having everything open ah, bear with me um, I hadn't ordered washi tape from Amazon before I don't think I usually get it like at the store because I can find it pretty much on sale ooh this stuff's pretty so yeah these are all skinny 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 so there we go. I got those two washi sets. And then I bought a new, I haven't set it up yet. I know every now and then I get the comment, oh, I'd watch your videos if it didn't make me so sick. And to those people, again, please make videos and tell me how you don't make yourself sick. So I keep trying different um the way I set up is I have my holder for my phone, but it's attached to the table, my desk. So if I move the table, just like that, the phone moves. I don't intentionally move the table, but when you're moving stuff around, it's hard not to. So I got a different one. I saw this is the one um, Miss Danielle um, uses. So I'm going to try it because I've tried these before with this arm and my phone is too heavy, but this one seems sturdier. So we'll give this a try. I still don't know where I can attach it, though. That's not on the. Um, Because, again, it's still going to be on the table. <laughs> I don't know, but it, I'm trying. I'm trying to make it better for all of us us meaning I don't have to hear about it and you because I really don't want you to feel motion sick but it's just the nature unless I were somewhere that had an actual professional setup which I don't I do this as a hobby <laughs> and a couple other things I picked up I forgot who I saw use this I apologize I know I saw it on YouTube so it is deco art triple thick brush on gloss glaze and I want to try this, um, just something different than a glossy accents. And then I had used this a long time ago when I was really into Copics and got my certification and all that. Uh, it is like an opaque white because as most of us know, when you use white gel pen over some colors, 
it um, kind of bleeds, the color bleeds into it. So this is a very thin um, medium. So I will try and give that a try this month so I can show you some pages. And then super excited, this is something I splurged on using gift card, is the Derwent Inktense Paint Pan Studio Set. Now I have um, the smallest set of Derwent pencils, which I enjoy, but then someone again, I don't remember who was using this and said, this is just so much easier. It's the same um, concept because it's the pigment, but instead of having to, you know, put the color down with the pencil and then activate it, you just activate it right away because you're using your brush. So I plan to actually do, I've got a couple pages I'm behind on buddy colors, and I'm going to try this. Very excited for that. Okay, I need to re regroup again. Okay. <laughs> I should have like cleared everything off my desk, but that doesn't work. So these I picked up when I was visiting my friend. I cannot find these anywhere else. Although I know you can um, order them on Amazon. These are tracing pads, which is like tracing paper. So like parchment. But I use these when I need to put something in between pages to protect them. So they sell them at the grocery store <laughs> up where I was at. And I picked up three of them. Whoa. And so I ordered, um, most of you know I do stamping as well. And I um, there's a company called Tailored Expressions. So I was out there and I ordered, they had this set of project pouches. Can you see how big they are? It's a set of six and they have different colors. And then I thought they'd be like this big. So I am so excited. I think I will try and link at least this in because I can see this as so useful to anyone with coloring. Right now I just threw in a bunch of um, assorted kind of random pens and markers in there. But, you know, you could, you know, color sort, put all your blue gel pens or however you want to do it. It would even fit like a smaller book could fit in here. Anyway, I thought it was a really good deal and they're a really nice quality. So um, I wanted to share them here. And the other thing, here, let me move these because it's going to make noise. So I didn't order any rubber stamps, but I ordered these. They are called, they have this thing where you can make your own calendar template with dies and stamps. And then they have these, which are um, little things you can color and then put it on the calendar for like the decor. But I just bought them to... Put, I'm actually going to color them and I could make them into a card or I used one of them and colored it and stuck it in some mail for a friend of mine but these are all snarky and they crack me up and um, I got a couple of those <laughs> sets because again I think they'll work really well to make some cards or to include when I send out packages. And then the last thing I have to show you, I did an order at Ranger. So the um, Ranger website itself, I don't know if I, I, I only say this as a recommendation. Now I am an Amazon shopaholic. I will not deny that. However, I want to remind people that Amazon is not the only place. And often, just like when you book hotels, sometimes if you just go to the actual website of the company, you will get a better deal or as good of deal, plus maybe some other bonus like you earn points in their system. So just throwing that out there. I did an order on Ranger. I do get occasional emails from them. And the reason I did an order is because they had like a mystery bag, which I'm a sucker for a mystery bag. So I'll show you that last. But here are the other items I purchased. Um, the 
I always say her name wrong. Diane Reveille. I love her. She is like my spirit sister. She doesn't know it, but I just admire her and her quirkiness and her artistic. Um, this Dilusions line. I have several things from them. But this is a diary. It's got stickers. These are stickers I you can color. This is like a tape, washi tape. Um, there's some that are already colored to just use. And we got some stickers. Yeah, I'm pretty excited to use these. I won't use all of them because I'm not a planner girl, but I thought they would come in handy on some coloring pages, and I think it was on sale. These I know were on the clearance section, and I bought two sets of these jumbo stickles. They are a three pack. It is ice. Glace and Hilo, or no? I bet those are different lang different words for ice. So these are ice. <laughs> and does it tell me the actual colors that are in here? <laughs> Seriously, I am so not clue, not into it. Basically, we have this one, which is ice. I can see that. And I don't know, we have gold and silver. So I picked up two of those. Uh, actually intend to gift at least one of them because it would take a long time to use that much stickles and if uh, someday I'm going to show you my stickles collection and then I picked these up because I really have been wanting to try the stickles gels I've seen people using them on their pages I picked up the um, nebula which has the little gold stars in it and I did use some of this I think it was the moon dust on some cards at a card class and here's the Dark Matter, which has a bunch of, like, almost galaxy-style glitters. And this is the Moon Dust, which is very similar to, like, what our normal stickles, clear stickles would be. So I do have a project to even practice those. So then they had, they were calling them the Throwback Mystery. I'm um, sorry, the light was in the way there. Sorry if that was annoying you or blocking the view. Um, oh, I need to get that fixed too. Seriously, does everything break at once? Okay, so this was Mystery Box, um, and it was like under $11. And I have done Mystery Boxes from Ranger. They don't do them that often, and they usually sell out pretty quick, but the value for what you pay is crazy. So I know this was like, we'll just say $11. It was 10 something. And I haven't opened it yet, because I want to open it with you to see what I got. And I don't remember if it told us what it could be, but let's just reach in and pull stuff out. So, okay. Well, this is fun. I got an enamel accents. I have used this before. It is um, in pink gumball. You apply it similar to like a stickles. And when it dries, it's shiny. So you kind of make your own little embellishments. I like that. And I have used this before too. I really do like the sepia accents. It is like your um, glossy accents, but it has that tannish brownish sepia. It's a sepia color, so it's kind of like an older vintage type of effect you get with it. Other than that, it dries like a glossy accents. So I got those. What else do we got in here? Kind of just blindly grabbing, trying to see if I can. Okay, these feel the same. Ooh. I got glitters or beads. So be dazzles. These are like, ooh, I'm not opening this. It would be all over. Mostly beads. There's a little bit of glitters in there. And then this one is cha cha. Same thing. It's got the little tiny beads plus some glitter. Probably use this more in card making, or I may gift it to a friend that likes to do shaker cards. I think that would be a good thing. Okay, what else do we got? Let's see, another. Ew, oh, I like these colors together. So, two things. Uh, another enamel accents, Caribbean coast. Okay, I'm running out of what's going on. Okay, this one doesn't feel like the others. Oh, gosh, what is this? Frosted memory glass. So, it's Frosted microscope slide glass with rounded colors. Oh, to like make jewelry? It's heavy. So design keepsakes, jewelry. Hmm. 
I definitely don't think I would be using this in my coloring. And I don't know that I'd be using it at all. So it may be gifted. Because I honestly don't see myself doing this. There's 24 pieces in here, but interesting. And there's four more things that are all the same basic feel. So let's see what they are. What do we got? Oh, okay. Embossing powders. So we got an embossing pearl green. So I'm assuming when this is applied, it has like a greenish tinge. We have a brushed corduroy distress embossing powder. This is spark. Oh, this is just glitter. Stickles dry fine glitter in eucalyptus. And it. Adirondack, Adirondack, sorry, embossing powder in clay. So, I think this was a very good deal for $11. It was, you didn't know what you were going to get. And, um, yeah, obviously some of these are already sprinkling on me. But these, for sure, I will use in coloring. Um, I will maybe use... The glitter distress powder I definitely use in um, my card making so those are fine and yeah I'm interested to see I mean I certainly could obviously if I add actual glitter it will add some texture but yeah anyway that is everything I got in Ju well that I can had pulled together to show you from um, June so Kind of a hodgepodge but i'm excited to share it again i'm gonna link in i'll link in ranger and tailored expressions in case you've never gone to their websites other than that um if you want a specific amazon link you can tell me and i'll add it in there i will put in the links for the books just because i already i capture those for myself anyway so it's easy but otherwise if you want to know i can find something for you so there you go, friends. That's what I have for you today. I need to go um, deglitterify my desk and hopefully revamp because there's one more video I would like to make. So I hope you are doing well. I appreciate that you stopped to see me. <sighs> it's been hot, hot, hot and humid, which does not bode well for this girl, but you know, we just keep going on. I'm the person that's like, I'm one day closer to fall. Every summer day I survive. I'm one day closer to cool weather. So I hope you are doing well, staying warm, staying cool, whatever it is in your corner of the world. And I will um, hopefully be back with another video. We shall see. We never know. In case nobody's told you lately, you matter. You are beautiful. If I could show all of your beautiful faces in the hall, that would be the most majestic hall ever. But, um, yeah, collecting the friends I've made, if that's the right way to say it, is the priceless part of being online in this coloring community. So, Thank you, each and every one of you. You bring joy to my life and you help keep me sane. I love you guys. Bye.